Cuadrado. Renin Pokémon Trainer.
All good. How'd it go? You too well? We're just fixing it over there. Pokemon Trainer! Mark. Okay, there we go. Crew name. Alright, so. So, you enter the player name here and the crew name here. Got to fix this on the overlay. Let's see if we can get this going. So did, you, did you catch the end of the last game there? I, I, I think I saw an SD on uh, Milwaukee side. Okay. So does that bring a 12-12 or did it miss more than one game? Uh, nope, this is just the... That would have been the second game, and the Disco Boat coming in was our second 15 pick? stocks. So, okay. So it's oh. six people per side, um, three stocks each. So, so it's going to be 18 stocks Yeah, so 18 stocks. So yeah, we're now 15 to 15 because... Disco Boat didn't lose a stock, and he was the second person okay, pro player. Okay. So sounds good. Yeah. All right. So. Hey, who do you think uh, Milwaukee's going to send in versus Disco Boat? Uh, against a Marth. What is their player list? Because uh, the... yeah, I have it. Oh, do you? Too. Oh, perfect. I can't have everything up at the same time, but I do. Have it. <laughs> it is. It is existent. So we have um, we have uh, on their side. Cross, Hydroxity, Sarcastic, Comet, MJM, D, and Silver. Do you know who it was that was playing first? Uh, Sarcastic. Sorry, Sarcastic. Sarcastic, yeah. Okay, okay. Ooh. <laughs> Sophist. Sophist, the winner of the Money Match for that. Yeah, yeah. And this is like a relatively similar matchup. Beauty versus Swords, same story. They both have the disc point, they're both trying to use the disc point. Yup. And, and like, Cloud has a little bit more range on the back end than Mars does, so this might even be a little easier for Celtics, but Disco Boat certainly plays some higher defense. Yeah, so. uh, and Disco Boat uh, is, has a very good game plan, uh, a lot of aerials, so I'm going to go here and see if realization on Soap is part of maybe countering some of those very frequent approaching aerials. Uh, yeah, he does Oh my, spot that, dude. Uh, Holy shit, so Okay, that was coming through. Oh my god, stop. He's so distanced. Oh, sorry, I could have got to take it. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. Is the audio coming out? Okay. Hopefully that fixed it. All right, so Soph is up over a full stock now. If you're Disco Boat, you're just trying to take one more. You know, you did your job, you take three stocks, you yep. get out, you move on to the game. You know, punch the clock. And, you know, if I'm Disco Boat here, I'm killed. The DVD is the last player I wanted to see, or the last player I wanted to see brought in against me. But yeah. the patience game will be had here. And, and, you know, the thing with it, too, is, like, usually speaking, 
Audio's good? Okay, perfect. Usually speaking, uh, Zisco was a pretty patient player, but he doesn't play patiently, but I think in this case, the, the patience is actually being overwhelmed by DDE aggression, which is just not a sentence you think you'd get that much. But... Yeah, like, Sofa changes it up a lot. He starts a lot of the games super defensive, and then when people are expecting defensive options, he's just in your face, swinging over there. Yeah, a lot of, like... Oh, yeah, confirmed. What? Oh, okay, that was really good. Nice. Okay. So then that brings up the Well, and I think. Why isn't this good? Uh, I keep changing this to this good, though, and it never stays. It just doesn't want it. Uh, but Disco, Disco Boat's down now, so this is. That's three yeah. stocks and one stock, right? Yes. Alright. So, Who they send next? against the DDD, right? Yes. So I know so. Jeff plays against the Wausau DDD most of the time he shows up, and so like maybe, but I also feel like that's a heavy hitter, and sinking that early might not exactly be like the best play, especially when you have like carbon that you want to kind of mm -hmm. pick for. I would think the, the crew battle, uh, or the, the crew one, yeah, every time I every time I get Disco Boat to show up, I can't get Oclair to show up, and every time I get Oclair to show up, I can't get Disco Boat to show up. But... Let's try one more time here. Oh, no, there's one here. Oh, now it's, okay, now it's working. Before, yeah, it wouldn't take it. Let's see. Uh, it just says EC. That's fine. Yeah, that'll work, yeah. Okay. So, let's see. They're modifying the rule set. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, infinite time, yeah. Crew battles aren't supposed to be time. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I was, I was wondering about that. Now, which side do you think was enforcing that one? <laughs> 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 you need me for one strike? Already? Dang. I'm trying to see that. <laughs> well, we'll be here. Okay. Sounds good. Zero Suit and Kazia probably don't uh, don't really mind fighting DDD often. Stop the battle!
to tip the scales at least a little less in favor of Milwaukee.
Yeah. <laughs> Counting to these curves. So, so for, was the one in the money. Straight the DDD? Yep. Does he play DDD or did oh, he I, just. I'm thinking so. Uh, he did DDD for the cruise? Yeah. Okay. And uh, he cleaned house. Like, oh, nice. Yeah, not gonna focus too much on him considering there's this game, but I was thinking during that money match, it looked like kind of a crusty DDD to me. Maybe you know, that's just that it was early in the day. Yeah, but maybe like, because it was earlier. I mean, it was looking pretty good. Right. Uh, you know, okay. the, the ending of uh, the game of Disco Boat was a really, really good. Mm -hmm. uh, Gordo and the uh, Down Tilt Looper, and just that was very target bad. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh, look at Jeff. Just what Oak Player needed here. 
right back in it. I imagine Comet's the anchor, so, you know, we do well, we'll get punished for uh -huh. it. <laughs> well, the thing is, there's no way they're going to put in Comet now, I feel like, because Fox does so horribly mm -hmm. against Kazuya. Like, to the point where Jeff has even said, like, the reason he's bringing his Kazuya back is for Swords and Fox. <laughs> there are a lot of Foxes at this tournament. There are yeah. three good Foxes. Comet, you know, obviously being the most pressing and mm -hmm. potentially an obstacle here. But right, right, right. I don't know if they, you might know this. Does Comet have any picks for bad Fox matchups? I matchup? have never <laughs> seen Comet play. Really? Uh -huh. Oh. Well, uh, we'll be getting the pleasure here now that they counterpick with us. Uh -huh. Oh, it's cross. Oh. Uh, you know, I feel like this matchup, like, given the oh, yeah. positions on the tier list, isn't as bad as you might think. This is actually, as a Jigglypuff uh, enjoyer, this is actually a matchup that most Jiggly players say is, like, not that rough. Yeah. Is, is Jigs just harder to combo, or is he just harder to get the first hit off on? More that, uh... Jigglypuff's offense is actually pretty strong against Kazuya. Like, his God, disadvantage yeah. state, uh, if you have the, the carry combos down for Jiggly, a lot of the times Kazuya just dies. Mm -hmm. so it's more so that Jigs can kind of do the same thing back to Kazuya. Yeah, exactly. While being a little bit harder for Kazuya to deal with. And we're kind of seeing that now. I mean, uh, you know, Jeff's kind of struggling to land a, a meaningful hit. <laughs> Yeah, always gotta be wary of that mix up going for that command draft. And yeah, I'm just gonna call it out. Yep. All it takes. Puff, not a heavy character. Yep. You can just kind of throw those out sometimes. What's she gonna do? <laughs> out of shield against Kazuya safely? Not a lot. <laughs> late hit Nair, late hit Fair. Like, cool. Oh, okay. You know, Cross was just talking about how uh, how he'll he's got no problem pulling that out and uh, on stream. Even. Yeah. The cojones are. But what is Kazuya's option there, really? Like try to time a an electric through it or shield it? Yeah. Or, or try to time a uh, command grab possibly could beat it, but like risky. Options. Yeah. If you mess any of those up, you just get hit. hit. Hey! Hello. I think you can grab a third one. I think we got room for three. Oh, we here. set up for three. Uh, check this one to make sure it's hooked up. Uh, if not, you can take mine and I will take a break. I've been commentating by myself like a crazy man. It's one strike match. Jeff, Jeff, is, Jeff is holding down real well here. Yeah. Yeah, if 100%. He manages to get. Uh, that was almost it. He's already at five stops, and he's currently positioned to make it six. Yep. That, that probably would have gotten Jigs. Yep. Mm -hmm. Cross with the counter pick. And. Oh, that's it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Seen that a lot. Jeff like gets into a character. Kazuya Mishima wins. Yup. He's playing ZSS against me, consistently hitting like Zare back air down smash up B. That ZSS is like two months old. I know it's crazy. Pull the chair if you'd like. I wanted the I wanted the reason why that's I caused you to stop because like getting very strange like seven minutes. That's crazy. Um, I feel like he also just doesn't like how Kazuya is in this game, where it's just, haha, I hit a move, yeah, you're dead now, and the hatred of it from everyone else. Jeff's failure is too good of a person for Kazuya. Basically. Mm -hmm. Like, if, if he was willing to commit to Kazuya, or even, like, worse, a Steve, he would feel better. That would be terrifying for us in this I don't city. Want I don't I don't want Jeff uh, Jeff picking up Steve. Kazuya, I I like the Kazuya because it's like uh no actually. Yeah, that's scary because like the way I was looking at this, I'm not okay. Like from my perspective, you say Jeff, is screw over Kazuya. Because Fox Kazuya is something. Yeah, and, and that's what we were talking about is that yeah the mm -hmm. Fox matchup did not look kind on uh, well, on the Kazuya set. Uh there is kind of a, a hidden boss in this crew battle, so Greebles, formerly Kahuza, 
uh, has definite claims to being one of the most talented players in the area, mm -hmm. um, but isn't super involved with the scene anymore, adult life, you know, just distance and things like that. But Also, during out. part of the time uh, here, he had to deal with uh, insurance, I guess, because he had, like, his apartment burned down. Oh, I didn't hear yeah, about that. That was, like, a year, year and a half ago. Uh-huh. Yeah. Had a nine game grand finals against him at BeatCon once that I'm still upset yeah. about not that being was, able to pull out. That was a crazy set to watch. Uh, that was one of the. Fox. Oh, 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 oh JMD, that's right. There's two foxes in this crew battle. I completely forgot oh, about that. So they're, they're choices against yeah. Jeff oh. or Fox or Fox. Yeah. Okay, so Jeff could be looking at his seven stock. Three, two, one. I let's see, let's see Jeff's FP as a player. <laughs> Come at me. Let's go. Alpha. Right now. <laughs> Alpha. Oh, oh no, this is Jeffrey. not a good start. Hey! Jeff does have a little bit more of like the riddles style Kazuya where like he doesn't always go from the zero to death, he goes more near a lot of the time. Exactly. Also, one thing to keep in mind with Kazuya is that, like, a lot of his true setups involve a lot of following DI. Uh, so, just taking those other options sometimes is the only correct thing to do in the position if your opponents manage to get hit in the right spot, DI the right way, SDI the right amount, so that whatever would be what people think, oh, Kazuya should just kill here, doesn't quite work anymore. And, yeah. Oh, there it yeah. is. Sometimes you just get hit by those. Not yeah. much to do about it. He got, in the, a huge advantage. I got that loss. He said, made them send someone first. Mm -hmm. The boss delivered. The, bo the boss delivered. He he is current MVP. Let's see. Oh, I bet they're sending out Trevor. I would imagine that uh, Daniel. Anchor. Yeah, Dan's probably the anchor. So I imagine they're sending out Trevor. I think everybody. But I feel like. How many I mean, stocks I, do you think he has to retain in order to win? Uh, in order for Thomas to be able to uh, I think he needs all three. Yeah, okay. for Dan In order for him to take one and Daniel take two, I think. Yeah. And even then, that's not. That's a hard ask. Like Again, clear. best player being in a crew battle. We we him and Hot about it being a good idea to even include Thomas because it's like wow, it almost seems unfair. The best player being on one of the crews, well, but I mean. Yeah, yeah. He did, it's needed. Yeah. Okay, right. Yeah, and so uh, no, I think uh, I think this is. I mean, this this is the true Milwaukee versus Oak player, best player included. And if anything, it's competitive so far, which is great. I've been trying to set up a walk out this place for a while. Walk out. I'm trying to see what Jack is doing. Uh, find me on the in the Discord or just through uh, Twitter or whatever. We'll totally make it happen. I would love that. Alright, here it is. They did send in Dave2006. Mm. Oh. Samus Fox. Yeah. yeah. I, honestly, in most cases, I would say that uh, Dave uh, has a pretty good shot at doing well, but I think if there's one character that probably goes in the way of a lot of what he likes to do as a player, it's Fox. Yeah, I was playing Dennis Yankee with those people, and I need to just the exactly, 100%. That feels like a weird thing, though, given his tendency to mash the up B. I think that's whenever why, is because if there's a character that could get away with hitting Samus' shield in the box, or even feigning like you're gonna hit the shield and causing Feigning like you're gonna. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. I feel like if you hit Samus' shield as Fox, you're gonna get hit by that up B if he goes for it. I kind of wonder know if there's a counter psychology where, like, Dave doesn't want to go for the LB as much as normal because of that, like, fear of, like, oh, they're going to see it and I'm a bad player because they do it predictably. And <laughs> there might be already some, some mental mind games. Yeah. Oh, there could also be the fear against Fox oh, 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 oh. That's crazy. He hits those. Wow. Yeah, the fear of just, like, how much 
fox is able to punish you when he just can see, okay, I have time to just move up smash your dad. Yep. And just, that a lot makes of it so much scarier to go for an option that's potentially unsafe, even if, you know, you see the situation, you have a free hit. Go for free it, right. You can be scared for All three are Oh, is that one the one that's not? Here, you guys, I've had it for a while. I was in the middle, so this is my trick that's on. Yeah. Alright, sounds good. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to this. In the time that it took to change headphones, uh, we have 107% on Fox already, which is a huge amount. That, like, that's Fox dies percent from, like, stray hits territory almost. Yeah, but it is still scary, though, because... Uh, Trevor basically needs to get this stock and the next one without dying, and yeah, yeah, there it already goes. So, yeah, Alchemy vs. Comet could go a lot of ways. If Comet's being generated, he goes well, and we might see a competitive match, but if it's the box, I think if Dave can choose out a stock on Comet, I'm not sure how feasible that's gonna be. Like, I feel like this, this man has the base of top big player. Boss that's true, but, you know, top players are a little bit harder to get that cheesy stock on. That's part of, like, how they get there is that consistency. Yeah, but if there's any, like, cheesy little top level character, it's awesome. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, especially since we did see uh, Trevor get that one down air kill. You could get that at, like, 50% and he's still going to die. Uh -huh. So it just really requires Dave to find the opening, no he's fishing for it. Sink the cards he's given. First, he's gonna have to get the last doctor from the mm -hmm. damn D, which, you know, that one's not looking great either. Yeah, he's just one, one bad hit away from dying here. It's looking a little bit tough, but there is still that chance of Smash. Not quite gonna kill on Kalos yeah, yet, but, you're, but you're next Samus one. It's, it's looking rough. Yeah. So, I wonder why uh, Kalos. Uh, probably just because you want that safety against those up smashes, you get to live for quite a bit longer. I mean, yeah, but like, picking any FD rage against Fox feels like somewhat ill-advised and floaty. Guess that's fair, but maybe just thinking, okay, I have those, uh, down Bs as Samus to help adjust my landing. Thinking that's probably enough to, uh, you know, get out of the way of those affairs you saw it wasn't quite good enough at the end there, but still, just having that idea makes it a lot smarter in your head, at least, to say, yeah, this is a good stage for me. Yeah, no, I, I hear that, and obviously people are going to have to pick their comfort uh, mm -hmm. stages regardless of what happened. Also, just I feel like Samus really likes to have like an open space so that it can be harder to try to dodge her projectiles. I guess against yeah, like, a Samus character with such good. a fast reflector, it might not be as big of a deal because you don't want to just spam anymore, but even still. Uh, so yeah, now we've got our boy Kahuza going Corrin. I don't know if... I've probably seen his corn before, but... You, you spell his tag. Uh, is he going by Grievous now, or is he still Kakuza? I don't know, but I'm going to put Kakuza because that's what he's using as his tag. I'm going to Okay. Yeah. Yeah, what I know him for is the Rosaluma and the Greninja, both really good characters and his likes those just slightly weird characters as you can see with those picks with Corrin. A little bit different from what you normally see, but still no slouches of characters, able to put in a lot of work. Yeah, and I'm like, I'm interested to see what the Corrin box matchup looks like, because Corrin's a character that, like, a very, very recent point. Right? So, like, we, we really haven't gotten any top-level representation. Apart from Cosmos, I think did for a little bit, but even then, you know, starting with Inkling, then I think a little bit of Corrin, and then Aegis, obviously yeah. Aegis. And now, and now, like, I'm interested to see what Corrin can do now that people have opened their eyes to the character. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I'm shocked it took so long for people to realize Corrin is like an actual option in this game, because like, there's a lot of stuff she has that's just Ooh, that absurdly is. strong, yeah. just like that. Gonna kill. And that was great. technically even going into the final final match here. Uh, it is still against Comet, so we have to be wary of that. But, you know, Kahuza just got some Fox practice, so maybe that's <laughs> yeah, gonna dude, that's the be the game up, changer up. here. Not uh -huh. taking a stock uh -huh. is huge here. Like, that, as I was saying, if there's any character in this game that can be game, it's Fox. And if there's any character that can place a tipper hit box at ledge and kill you at 30, it's corn. Oh, right? yeah, and that so, especially. I think, I think it's definitely still winnable. I think it's definitely gonna be hard, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if he can place those F smashes and time them correctly at ledge, it is gonna be tough to come back from. Uh, there's oh, yeah, let me get the... players and stats to get up, baby. It's hard, because, like, the, the Twig chat's oh, on also... a separate page. Oh, yeah, the comment. Uh-huh. Thank you. Yes. With the Fox I got there. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, and Kahuza is put on Greninja currently. Um, I, I didn't know I could change that. Um, oh, I think it's next. Right there. Cool. There we go. Fix that. Uh, Repping the Milwaukee tag. It would be funny if he did this and then just didn't take it. Wait, is MKE a different player than Kami? Is that just like, No, that- I think that's just to say Milwaukee. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. It feels like a weird way to do an acronym, or a shortening of Milwaukee in my head. Yeah, but- Like, I feel like, like the W- I guess MWK feels weird as well. Yeah, Martin Luther King. <laughs> uh-huh. Certainly. Right, the chat right. retention rate dropped the second I got in here, so let's try to bring it back up with some energy. El Bozo. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, final match here. Uh, some same exact matchup. Wins well last time, but yeah, Comet is a bit of a different beast yeah, to have to go against. If you're playing against any Fox that's not Comet, you haven't seen it yet. You uh -huh. don't know what you're up against, but, you know... So, going well so far, dude. He's, he's making it look up. easy. Dragon Fang Shot almost killing, and Comet, like, one hit away from death already with only 18% on the board. Yeah, he has not figured out Daniel yet at all, it seems. Yeah, if Eclair ever needed time to try... Okay, not not quite hitting that two frame. Comet with, like, his typical fast-paced movement, but, like, a lot of those hits were landing. I mean, you obviously have to say that. He's just starting to get something going, but it, it's going to be difficult. Being at 120 already means, like, you can't take any risky engagements at all. Right. And Fox, just such a risky character, it feels like, always, because he's always got to be the one running in and interacting. And he's such a high-paced character that he can do that yeah, like, and unless, work very well. Unless but... your name's Shogun, you just camp with Fox, you know? Oh, but... bad, bad. Probably not the right strategy with Fox. I mean, you can just drop in these tournaments. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, 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 yes, no, yeah. Definitely Terrifying not character when he is For running sure in. Uh-huh. <laughs> Decent lead here, still. Racking up a little bit of percentage here and not losing that first stock yet. Yeah, is like really holding important. on to that first stock here is uh, Comet can kill you at 80% or he can kill you at 180%. It really just depends on when he gets that back or when he gets that other smash, right? Mm -hmm. And so if he can keep this going for like 60 more percent, like force confident grabs, oh, oh, there's the back air oh, yeah. as I speak. The left one. Gotta know what. How to DI, how to react right away. If you just air dodge instantly, that could get rad if you And didn't. if you don't air dodge, Comet hits you for 65% uh -huh. and evens up the entire game. If you jump back. instantly, you don't And that up air kills! That's crazy. Eau Claire might have this. Eau Claire, this is crazy. This is, this is really close. I'm gonna document that. Uh -huh. Missing that tech, not quite gonna kill yet, and yeah, down yeah, air no brings him to safety. 
Seventeen percent doesn't seem like obvious yeah. box. Like that's one interaction closer to winning. And against so a character that doesn't let you win very much, it's huge. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, losing in box of course. <laughs> yeah. Dropping Definitely combat, an original yeah. bit. Do not steal. Dropping over all three lasers in one short hop is crazy. By the way, I'm not sure if you were seeing that. He needs it. <laughs> Oh, and oh, oh. not getting a big combo off, off of that. No That's common. crazy. Comet coming back? Ah, uh, yeah, not quite. Missing the back air, though. Still getting the follow up. Three up airs. You're going to make that game a lot closer. You hate to see it, but. Still last hit, though. Yeah, the Nair bringing him back to safety. That jab, stuffing out the, the grab there. This is such a close game. Comet with no double jump. Missing the punish by a little bit, but this is still anyone's game here. 94 to 95. Oh, yeah. and there's the Nair. Yeah. I think that's a much better performance than anyone was expecting from the walk. Absolutely. And Comet being able to clutch that, who's putting up a hell of a performance uh -huh. against that. Yeah. Crowd's Comet, roaring. really good player. You can see why he's number one in Wisconsin yeah, when Comet. he's able to do, like, kill combos like that with Fox. Not necessarily the easiest feat unless someone just misses attack. Then it's easy, but, you know, like that don't see that too often, I feel like. Maybe I'm just 